Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news in the world of football. So y'all know what time it is. Y'all check this out. Well, the, when the world of football, right? You know, we don't talk about it that much. And the bottom line is, you know, I might have to do a video about my boy Kluppo. Jordan Club, right? Should put him in this video. Jordan Club is winning with Liverpool. I had to look at the, the table, right? The standings. But I think they're nine points or more. Liverpool in, 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 in the lead in the champion, in the um, Premier League, right? The Premier League, which is the hardest league in Europe, I would say, because you have a five and six teams, right? And Liverpool is not, you know, the very, very super elite. They're in the top five or six always. You know, the traditional club is no doubt about it. But, you know, you got Chelsea, you know, got Arsenal, you got Manchester City, you know, Manchester United, you know, all that stuff popping off over there. It's a whole lot of stuff popping off in England. The same team ain't winning every year. Not in England, right? And then every other league we go to, I say two names and those are the ones. Real Madrid, Barcelona. Boom, that's it. The Bundesliga, Bayern. Nobody else, right? It's the same thing, everything. And mostly Paris, Saint-Germain, and maybe one other team. Let me see. what I'm thinking of another one in the French League. I can't really think of one right now, right? But it's not four or five teams that can win. Your own club to win the Champions League with Liverpool, to go to the uh, final the year before that with Liverpool, and then winning it with Dortmund before going to the semifinal, I mean to the final with Dortmund, losing to Bayern before, winning the Bundesliga. Any trainer that wins the Bundesliga that's not tra a trainer from Bayern Munich should be a legend already, right? Because there ain't been many. You're talking Felix Magath and uh, with Wolfsburg, and who else won? And it was only... Jordan Club with Dortmund. If not, it's Bayern going to win that. <laughs> right? And so, Jordan Club right now is becoming a ridiculous legend. Now, last time I talked to him about a year ago, he deserves a statue outside of Anfield Road. Bottom line, if it's that, they should be building it right now. Right? Same thing as uh, in, in Bayern. Europe Heinkes. He needs his. What is it called over there? I forget. Allianz Arena. He need to have his statue because he took him. He won a triple with Bayern, and he still ain't got his statue. I don't know. They be giving statues to somebody. Young club. Liverpool ain't won in a long time, right? Before Jurgen Klopp's era. Let's be real. I even know that. I'm not only in the, the soccer. Y'all know that, right? This dude is. It's ridiculous, man. Now well, we know we got some Mo Salah. We got some Mane. We got my band Van Dirk in the back handling his business. But let's be real. You are you putting all those players in the first team? All soccer <laughs> or football, right? Those are probably second teamers, some are third team, and most are a lot bad. Now, don't get it real twisted, but they're not the very, very best, right? And they, they're winning uh, for a long period of time now. It's absolutely absurd. Jorgen Klopp is a legend now, a living legend. You know, you call him, say, you don't say the special one like Jose Mourinho. He's the, he's the normal one. But I'm, he's going to have to get rid of that moniker. I haven't been, you know, really following it lately what he's been saying i haven't watched any interviews from what he's been saying or anything like that this is just me looking again and then when i'm like i can't believe this absolutely absurd but anyway so don't want something positive to talk about i gotta go into something negative real quick all right uh, another incident when we talk about soccer is it almost impossible to not talk about it well you know how in soccer you know you go to anywhere if you're of color you know this already they're gonna throw some bananas on the, on the pitch they're going to, you know, give you those ape sounds. And it doesn't matter what part of, you, of Europe, right? In England, we just had that, you know, in England two or three times. I, I forgot what club it was. I think I did a video about it. You know, I think it was one of the Manchester clubs, if I'm not mistaken, right? And they had issues with this racist uh, things that are going on with these players. And I always say, you know, if that was me, right? But that's me. I'm a little bit different. But I would have a T-shirt on already, knowing that that's going to happen. And my t-shirt would say, we were educated while you were still living in caves. Right? Now, it would piss them off and irk them, but those are the things. They're not trying to not piss you off by calling you an ape. Right? And then, black people, we got a tendency to, to, to let that touch us. Like, oh, you, you call an ape. Like, we look more like apes than you do. Get the hell out of here. Let's all of us not shave for a while. Let's look and see who looks like apes. You might find a couple of brothers look like apes. But you're going to find a couple of white people look like apes, right? Especially chimpanzees. Don't even try it. We all look like them, right? Don't, just because the skin is dark, then, yeah, you look like gorillas because the skin is dark. 
But uh, chimpanzees got that white skin. Don't even try it. So we all do. So brothers, don't get you know upset about it. But what you should do is make sure what this team did, right? Because see, I always when that happens, and because it happens all the time. You know, they throw bananas and start calling black players every time they touch it. Right? <laughs> they do that all the time, all throughout Europe. And if you ignore them, then they'll put it up there, the high hit low on you. <laughs> right? If you just ignore all of that, then that's what they'll do. And what happens, what doesn't happen, it irks me. The team doesn't leave. Right? The brother got to get upset, but the team say, hey, you know, just get over it and we're going to keep playing. Right? And I would always say, if my team ain't in the, I was going about to call it a dugout because you know that American in me. But if you don't go in the locker room right before me, I should be the last one to leave. My team should be gone before me. All the white boys gone before me because it should irk you. That's the problem that we have. It doesn't irk them because it doesn't happen. There's no empathy there for the brother. So what happened in this? This happened somewhere in Germany. They were playing at Berlin. It's a place in Germany called Saxon. This is a state, right? And the team from Berlin was playing them, right? And I can understand a little bit. So I read a little article. And what happened, this is the under-17 team. I think the under-16, which means the people, the kids are 16 and younger. So that means in the in the audience are parents. That's those a problem, too. Anybody seen that YouTube video where a young, a little uh, infant black dude, right, about, you know, let's say a year-old black guy and a year-old black uh, white baby, they were like 50 meters apart and they ran towards each other? Right. And they were so happy to see each other. Right. And then when they go back to their parents, seven years later, they don't go to each other and start calling each other names because the parents mess them up. So this is the under 16 game. Right. Which means 16 and younger. And the parents are out there calling another kid nigger, nigger and a banana eater. Right. <laughs> you know. And so the, the young brothers started crying. Right. But what happened? And this is what's good about it. And this is what needs to happen in the pro leagues. The team left. We sick of it. The team left, right? And then you make you force the referee. The referee had to write a report, and they, oh, I didn't really hear anything. I didn't. I didn't catch that. You know, the parents over there. We didn't hear anything. We didn't catch that. But the coach from the team where the brother was getting that was crying. The coach went out there and said, "Well, you go back to your farm." That everybody heard when he turned that back to him. You go back to your farm. Right. Then they heard that. But none of the, the other stuff, you know, the dude's crying for nothing. Basically, there's the one brother on the team. He's crying. His team full of white people. Right. Left. That's what you have to do, because it's not about money when it's that young. It's about principle. But when you get up there and they start calling, well, they're doing stuff like that and mess around, be a Champions League or you wait for a cup or something. I don't know what you call them. Right. Something like that. And you leave. Just leave everybody. Leave. Then they will start. Because if not, they're not. People want to, you know, what, 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 what's up? Trump is doing this and Trump is doing that. You know why Trump is doing this and Trump is doing that? Because he's not waking up in the morning and finding out that 92% of Americans are against it. As long as it's still over 40%, that's half in his brain that still consider him to be okay. That's why. So if the teams don't leave, that's because you know why? It's not happening to them. There is no empathy there, so we not have to, right? Oh, we got a brother that's crying a little bit or whatever. He'll get over it. It's not happening to them. You're not going anywhere and people are making jokes about you and don't act like we can't. You know, we could just start playing music and say, hey, man, don't worry about it. We know you can't dance. We'll, we'll dance for you or something like that. Or we can start talking about the BBC and stuff. We don't do all that. There's no vindictive, ignore it. I told you on several occasions. But it's funny that I can sit here and talk about this kind of stuff all of the time. All of the time. I can do videos about two or three every day about instances that's going in, in sport. We don't have to talk about politics because politics is just blatant right now. Blatant. America is showing their face to the world right now. And that's good. So people can realize what we've been, what we complain about all the time. You know, we don't have to complain. They can just look and see. When they come in here and defend that kind of behavior from our president. But all over the world right now, we're having a problem with this. Right. And that was just good. And I thought I would mention it because his team left the pitch. Everybody and whoever they were playing, they will learn from that. And that's what everyone should do in the pro leagues. Leave. Don't wait till something happens to you first. It's your comrade. It's your team doing your team. If you don't leave the pitch. 
that makes me believe, hmm, you don't really have much against that. Right? So, so much for that. Go back to a high note. And that's Kluppo, baby. Kluppo. Jorgen Klopp is a living legend for what he's doing with Liverpool because you got to put what he did at Dortmund with that. And it's just absolutely extraordinary. And I'm going to tune in even more than I have been of late. There's so much sport going on, so I can't catch everything. But his, this run that Jorgen Klopp is having right now with his team in Liverpool is absolutely ridiculous. So you guys tune in. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.